Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Carly Tanager, and I am playing some Mass Effect. Hey, look, we've got a Tully to talk to. Hi, Tully. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. Aw, thank you. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. It's because it's special. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. Um. I'm starting to understand thanks? why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. Uh, this ship is special. The Normandy's a prototype, cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, She's only been out a month? Damn. I'm on one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. Yep. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. No, it's okay, Traveling you're too awesome to leave. a vessel believe. like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. Of course she does, she's it a quarian. It comes with being a quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. So they're really good Some at MacGyvering. Some of the MacGyver. vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. Wow. That would, yeah, that's a believe long time ago. I can't believe ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. Where do they but get the fuel from? we just from? can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. So they can bring those materials back to the ship. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. It's okay, guys. We've just got Tully and Garage left to talk and to. And we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla. Wow. And each of us relies that is on not others a lot. for survival. <laughs> the bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. See, just think about it. There's about 7 billion people on Earth right now. Think about how many humans are probably there after they've started to expand into the Traverse. And yeah, the migrant fleet is not big. The migrant fleet isn't even as big as New York City. That's scary. How many people died when everything went down the Geth? Like what? What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their brain. Wait, but that just means you're... Of course, we also I can understand can't allow too, our numbers to be Because that keep it stable. Few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. I was gonna say, I, I, I could see two. Like, making it so it's two. Like, one male, one female to replace the parents or something, but... One? That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, the most military. captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? Democrats! Wait, the what? Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. And they're technically in constant emergency. To do so requires emergency. unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. That's pretty cool, especially because, oh, we made this vote, now we have to kick everybody out. Uh, Geth. I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. 
It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they what, were that when you we made them? them? And how they turned on us. Interesting. Because the Corians made Geth them! were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks. So they started turning them into them AI. closer and closer to true AI status. Isn't AI research illegal? <laughs> How come the Council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. Yeah, yeah so gradual. No. One Wait a minute. One underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. And they so started the to become, they started them? to have thought. Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work oh in boy, concert with other nearby episode. Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the smarter they are. So I have mine. So there's some sort of group consciousness. No, nothing like that. They cannot share sensory data or information. Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. As far as you know, it's been 300 years, Each honey. Each maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But, when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. Uh, yeah, so that's confusing! That totally explain! Sense. I'm probably oversimplifying. The Geth are incredibly advanced and complex creations. All you need to know is that they get smarter when they gather in large numbers. Oh, okay then! As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Oh, am I dear. Alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. What happened next? What did you do? It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We yeah, because they, they were your slaves. Us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. So they defended themselves. Hey, you can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. So you murdered and tried to exterminate the all of them. Than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Now we drift through space, exile, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. Uh, but yeah, they defended themselves. It's hard to feel sorry for you. Your ancestors tried to wipe out another species. We made a mistake when we created the Geth in the first place. But we did not At least make a mistake Holly... when we went to war against them. I think you if did, we honey! If not acted, they would have wiped us out. You don't know that! For a synthetic life form, they have no use for organics. None! Why do you think they cut themselves off from the rest of the galaxy? Why do you think they've killed every organic being who's ever tried to contact them? Not every single one! They didn't kill Saren. What does that tell you? The Geth are not innocent victims in all this. They're the enemy. Tell that to Mass Effect 3! Not just the Quarians. All organic life. That's no, that's why the Reaper's job. Saren, and that's why we have to stop him. Okay, pilgrimage. I want to know. Last one, and then we can go talk to Garrus after ten minutes. Mature, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, My hair feels leaving so the flotilla and our families behind us. 
We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. Something of this value. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the Do crew. They always accept. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. So you want a really good gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. Uh, sounds dangerous. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla, and given gifts to help us on our journey. We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune systems weaker than most. Hence the suits! By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all Quarians. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. They already Virtually have! <laughs> every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. Let's change topics! I want to talk about something else. Like what? Absolutely nothing! You should go. <laughs> I still have later. one more person to talk to! Garrus! Garrus, Garrus, Garrus! We'll talk to Engineer Adams later. Garrus! Garrus, 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 Garrus! Garrus, Garrus, I love you! Garrus, I love you! You're totally going to be my boyfriend in the second game, if I let's play it. Garrus! Hi. Nice work out there. Hi, thanks. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. I love you. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. He's got a great voice actor. you by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. It's not that bad, honey. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm yeah. trying to take down a suspect, Bureaucracy. it doesn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. That was your reason? Uh, I see. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. There always didn't is. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. Aw, honey, I love I you. I hope you made the right choice. Of course I he did. for you to regret it later. He's coming well, with me. that's sort of why I teamed up with of you. Of course he is. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. He's got such an attractive voice actor. Is it is it Mass Effect 2 yet? Can, can, can I romance Garrus? That'd be nice. No. Um... Sounds good to me. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Garrus, Garrus, I love you. Gar Keep talking! Seriously? There's nothing more to talk to- There probably is more I need to talk to him about, it just won't let me because I just finished the conversation with him. Fine! Be that way. I'll go do something else, Garrus, and I'll romance you later. Okay, where am I going? Either Pharos or Novaria. I'm going to go to all of the worlds and do all the extra stuff off screen when I have extra time and I might montage it together or something in an episode. But most of what you guys are going to see is going to be the main storyline stuff. Mostly because this game is crazy long and I'm buying time when I'm going up an elevator. Yay! Okay. Now that we have talked to just about all of the crew that I can, open the door please, thank you, we are going to go to... Do I want to go to Novaria or Pharos? Let's go to Pharos! Let's go to the Pharos colony. I the fuck not. I hit the wrong button, didn't I? Yes, yes I did. I hit the wrong button. Okay. I do that a lot. Okay. 
Artemis Tau Cluster. Okay, they got Pharos. We're going to Pharos. Pharos is over here. Yes. Of course I want to travel to another system. Boop. Boop, boop, beep, doop. Message coming in. Patching it through. Hey, Commander Shepard. Oh, hi there. My name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. Okay. But I'm busy. I'm busy doing stuff. Like surveying Sharing. Prothean Data Disk. A secret hydrogen heal- Why is there a Prothean Data Disk on a gas giant? You think it would've vaporized- Oh, I went all the way out again. You think it would've vaporized in the last 50,000 years? But apparently not. I can zoom out again. Anything here? Survey! Light metal. I found cobalt. And Seita Seit Sido? Sudo? Sito? Something like that. We're going to Pharaohs. Exogenic Corporation has founded the pilot colony on Pharaohs to explore the Prothean ruins that blanket two-thirds of the planet's land. Wow. You think the Reapers would have done a bit of a better job? Uh, blah 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 blah. <laughs> so we are going to go to Pharaohs, figure out what's going on there, because I guess there's some protheaniness that we need to get taken care of. Now, logically speaking, that means we should probably take our Prothean expert Liara with us. But <laughs> I'm gonna take Gareth and Tali anyway. Cause they are my bros. Hmm, nom nom. Good thing these Prothean ruins have suspiciously, like, us sized stuff. Great! Saving data. Game. The auto-saving is my enemy. If it would only let me move while it auto-saved. Okay, y'all gonna stay here. We're gonna be the shore party. Y'all have fun. Make sure nobody takes a ship or anything, okay? Okay. Exit the Normandy. And we are taking... Uh, Garrus and Tolly. Because we will always have Garrus and Tolly. Because I like them. And they're on the poster that is on my wall that you all can't see. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior wait, atmosphere. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. See, see, Exo that's, Presley has that's the my deck. poster. That's my poster. Okay. Uh, did I just fuck up my webcam? Close enough! <laughs> Do not care that much. We have things to do. And people to murder. Murder? Murder? No murder yet. Okay. Murder later. Hello? We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Uh... Who? Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. There's Please, death. Up the stairs past the freighter. Okay. Look out! Well, goodbye. How did the death manage to get across? It's like, oh, sorry, Tolly. I love you, but sorry. Okay. I'm going to hit him with a warp. Warp. Okay. Are you guys using your correct weapons? Okay. As long as Garrus is using his freaking sniper rifle. Oh, hi there. Um. Have a singularity. <laughs> By the power of singularity, oh god. Shields disabled. Ow. Patching you up. Uh. 
Go away. And nobody likes you. And then he's dead. See, by the power of by the power of Garrus's sniping, we're able to win this. As long as my the people in my party actually shoot. That down. was a levitating gun. Okay. Great! Everything's jammed. Oh great! More of these guys! Hello, gecko creatures! How are you doing? Oh, we're gonna save her for a second. Okay, with that. Ah. I don't like you. You're weird. I'm gonna use a warp on you. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, 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 ah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I'm just gonna let these guys take care of it. They're better aiming than I do when there's things running around. Garrus is poisoned. This is a bad thing. All clear. Garrus is not allowed to be poisoned. He's my husband. Hi, guys. The tunnels. Make sure they're secure. Those geth are bloody dangerous. Yep. If we die of thirst. The geth will surely kill us all. Yep. How is a woman supposed to think with guns going off all around? Why do we recognize your voice, honey? Hello? I fear the Geth will kill us all. Probably. Where is your leader? Take me to your leader! But this I, chick? I know, honey. Oh. The Geth can't be allowed into the heart of the colony. Okay. I'm going to fall into that exclamation mark, because the exclamation mark usually equals boss and or person of interest. Oh great! I'm jammed again. Jammed. It's jammed. Hello, if I die. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Well, sorry. Our senior. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since. Watch out! Since obvious, Gather obvious. We've got Gath in the tower. Protect the heart of the colony. The heart of the colony. That was the weirdest way you could have put that. Great. More auto saving. Way to break up the action game. Okay. Go stay with me. Uh. Ah! By the power of strafing! And by the power of singularity. Get, 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 get. Aw, oh, you thought you could snipe me, that's cute. Oh god. Okay, maybe I should use this. Ah! Bonk! Okay, I see three things here. I don't wanna die! Please, don't let me die! You're not gonna die! I... I'm gonna... Push you! Push. Garrus, I love you, but you are in my way. Hello. Too bad you don't have melee in this game like you do in the other one. Negative contacts, Commander. Okay, I'm going this way. I don't know what's over here, but I'm going this way anyway. Oh, hi! You get a warp. Did that warp even work on you? No, it did not. Uh, hi! And die, please? There it goes! Ah! Nope! Nope, don't hit me because I'm beautiful! Don't hurt me because I'm beautiful! More beautiful than your face! Wait, what? Um... I was gonna say, how did that even get there? Excuse you. Okay, this needs to be gone. Oh, that's a destroyer! That's right for me. Ow! That's right for me! I like you! Uh, uh, Shepard, run! Good Shepard. Bad Shepard, you're on the wrong wall! Bad Shepard! Bad Shepard! Uh, bro? Right over here. Ow! That was rather painful. Uh, oh, it's a Geth dropship! Okay! I didn't even realize that's what I was doing. Another autosave, really.
should update Fidan on the situation before we move on to wherever the Geth are bunkered. He's the closest thing left to proper Wait, channels. Why am I using a... I'm not trained to use a sniper rifle. Okay. Well, how about for first off, I go into my options. And I turn that off. No. Wait, what? Auto save off. No. Oh, I have to do confirm selections from there. I can't just back out of it. Okay, no more being stopped by auto save. This is going to bite me in the ass soon, isn't it? Ooh, I am okay with this. Store discount. Spectre trading. And some. Stasis or singularity. Fan singularity. I want more warp. But I also want more singularity. Fuck. Uh, let's go warp. Yes. Okay. How long has this been since I've made these guys better at life? Jeez. Oh well. Good sniper rifles, and now you get to get a armor. Ah, oh, how close am I? Oh, it's one off from a quick medium armor. God damn it. No. That is not how science works. And that. Take it. There you go. Good boy. Advanced assassination! Great. And then she's got this and that. And then all of the Quarian machinist. Good. Great. Fun. Okay, what's over here? Anything I need? Ooh, yes, please. Mine. Also mine. Okay. I will take those. Unity amp. Unity amp? That looks sexy. I have not done this in a while. I should probably take a look at my equipment. Let's see here. Nothing good there, but I've got a heat sink there. High caliber barrel. Ooh, no. Okay, what I've got now is best for that one. I've got chemical rounds. Radioactive rounds. Ooh, armor piercing. Yes, please, but we're not going to give that to me for reasons that we'll be made very, very aware of pretty soon. Okay. Aha! That's what I need. Yoink! Is that better for you? Okay, it is. Oh my god, Garrus is pink! Garrus is pink! Why is Garrus pink? I give up! I give up! My Mass Effect boyfriend is pink! Why is he pink? Why? Why is he pink? Why? Game, why is he? Why is he pink? Why? Why is he pink? Okay. Armor plating, shield regenerator, shields. That one. His armor is pink! His armor is fucking pink. That one. Okay, we don't got nothing for you. Not this. Oh, wait. You have a bear assault rifle. I do not. Do I have a better sniper rifle? I also do not. But you... Don't get anything because you already have that one. Balls. And he has that one. But we're going to give you... That one! For your sniper rifle. Damn straight, son. Okay, anything else for Tali? Tali gets her shotgun! Wait, no, 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 wait, uh... Okay, good enough. Let's see, let's give her... Rate of fire, heat absorption. Let's get rid of that one. And some. And cool down weapons force. Chemical rounds. Give us some chemical rounds. Poison for everybody! Poison! Poison bullets! That is also about the end of this video. My name is Oscar Tanger, and I'll be playing some aspect in the next one. We'll go talk to Fabian again. I'll see you all.
Bienvenidos a la Chapsa.